Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Lord of the Rings World Enough Here for part 7 um, of part 8 We're going back to Nordenbad because it is currently under siege If you haven't checked out the last episode or uh, any previous episodes Definitely go check it out, it'll give you some good background to what's going on Basically last episode we went to see a dragon to try and get him to side with us Instead of Agandawa He decided to remain neutral in the conflict, uh, just so long as we got him Khandun, which uh, we've got, we're going to go after we've saved the dwarves from being attacked. So uh, let's go do that. I'm just going to turn down the volume, this is quite loud. They're massing for another attack. I, I don't think we can hold off another one. No, nor do I. Did you hear that, Booty? Have I gone mad or... Yes, Lord of the Rings no, equals Ex Machina. Oh, rip. The one dwarf is dead. Do you see, Booty? They... Like, I like how these are just able to fly in three eagles without getting absolutely clattered. I mean, fair enough, you know. Mighty glad I am to see you. But it may already be too late. I've only a handful left who can still fight. Then fall back to the upper chambers. Give us what support you can from there. And we will see what we can do against their siege machines. So, but I, in, instead of, with your people, Nordry, like, go. having six people I to fight you. the uh, incoming orcs, we're going to uh, replace the three uh, drain soldiers with the three main characters, because obviously that's going to... Um, you know, we're just more powerful than them lot. This is going to be a bit of a cluster of a mission, and it's going to be a short one, so, uh, yeah. I do like this one, just because we don't have to go anywhere, we just hear in this big melee of shit, really. What I do want to know is, obviously we haven't seen much like Lord of Bad structure from the outside, but it's not the big matter, so how on earth are they able to get war machines up here? Like siege towers and stuff. It just makes zero sense, but I guess uh, I guess there's obviously like a way up otherwise uh, doors would be able to get up here. Not that I don't think they actually ever leave, but we'll see. I like how so long as you can dodge these things, you can uh, avoid any damage even if they smack you in the face with a hammer. Alright, that's the first bit done. Which side are they coming from? Left side? Gotta wait till that thing comes down first gets its structural integrity. Okay, easy to get rid of them though, it's not uh, too difficult to remove these siege towers. Alright, once that guy dies, we'll be over here next. See, this isn't gonna be like the, uh, the good and the bad section where you use this because uh, there's only a couple more of these sieges. Um, you don't really need two people for it, just because of the sheer power of these things and the lack of enemies that actually come towards you. I'm not saying that, it's going to get interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought 
sure I've got rid of that one. It's, uh... Okay. Should have been too bad. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's gonna be quite bad actually. There's no good thing in this one. No, thank god. Got to go to them quickly. See, this is the difficult thing because now they're coming on both sides. And this is the, this is like the first difficult thing I should have to deal with. Just saying that. Come on. Just go invisible so I can get rid of them. Actually, I don't think any more comes up. I can only set some out. Come on. That's pretty much it, really. It's not like an endless amount until you get rid of the siege tiles, otherwise that'd be pretty broken. Oh my god, there's so many. That was a pretty yeah, cool little triple kill there. I'm probably not going to talk much this, uh, this episode because I'm going to be focusing on not dying. Because after this, I believe... Yeah, they get rid of how they explode the, um, the mounted crossbows. And now we've got Goblin Sappers. So, the return of the, um, the suicide goblins are back. Which is actually fine because there's a really good um it's a really good tactic you can use I say tactic, it's just a simple thing. You um uh, I actually don't know what upgrade to go for. Heat seeking arrows, yes. Up here. Right. Okay, so you literally just sit by the door, and because they come from the left and the right, they, obviously they don't come up like fucking hell. They don't come up perfectly, but you have enough time to hit them, especially if you've got the um, the multiple arrow like shots, whatever it's called, the multi shot. It's uh, it's very easy. Now, obviously, them lot are going to soak up a lot of them. But here you're the last line of defence, and obviously with Eridan, having a much faster reload on his bow, it's, uh, it's considerably easier. And because Goblin Sappers always drop arrows, it's basically just an infinite supply, like you can go from having one arrow, and you can easily do it, because they drop like five at a time. I just sit pretty much centre, just so it narrows the amount of time you have to move. That was a bad shot. Basically what happens is they send left, right, and then both sides, so obviously this is going to be the most difficult one, and I believe after this they send uh, mountain trolls. If the memory serves me correctly, and then they send an old captain. That's a bad shot. At least I'm going to have plenty of arrows, obviously I can't go higher than 80 because I can't fit any more in the quiver, but so... Uh, There we go. Oh yeah, trolls are coming, because my yeah, Warhammer's gone purple. Here they are. These things are going to be difficult. Obviously, this mission would be considered to be easy if you had the, um, what's it called? The mounted crossbows. Right, uh, well, the they aren't, so no. It's okay though, we have eagles. We will drive them back. Berenthor, to the gate! And we're going to interrupt this Lord of the Rings more than off video to bring you some War Thunder Triple A experience. There you go. <laughs> oh, the eagles are dead. Big, big Satch. Yep. 
Yeah, Belaram's not dead. I mean, Belaram pretty shagged at this point. Look at him. Andrew, fire him. The gate. Two armor trolls, and they're mounted trolls. So these are the pretty much the toughest to fight, excluding snow trolls. But luckily, oh shit, there's all my kai too. Oh yeah, even better. I've got to, I've got to find this fight here. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna end badly. I can't keep dicking around with this guy because the other one's gonna be up the stairs somewhere. Yeah. I just punched him. Why? I suppose this is the uh, the easy bit because those two are dealing with the Earl like I. And I've only got two trolls to deal with. Which, uh, given everything, isn't really too bad. Five, six, no. <laughs> okay, well, that was considerably easier than uh, I expected. Alright, well, I'll just take this time to um, break everything, get some good loot, take a quick breather. Ah, uh, here comes the siege commander. That one looks like a captain. Strike him down. Yeah, okay, this guy's tough. Yes, because this army of trained orcs and other like I have the same weakness that every movie alien or sci fi being does. You kill the mothership, and then that's it. They all decide they don't want to fight anymore. But this guy is a fucking gamer though. Just get rid of everyone else. This guy's an absolute chonko, but he's not much health left. Oh, that's vexing. It's fine, I can take these guys. Oh, he is, he is very rapid. I probably got that off too early. That's Come on, Dwarf. There are still foes to defeat. Sorry to put you to all that fuss, my friend. Sorry to put you to that bother, my friend. And he turned on a knife for right, Jesus. Oh. There we go, right back. There we go, so that was a short mission. Jesus, this episode's only been like 10 minutes long. I might... I mean, I would stick it like in the same episode as the next one. But then again, that'll mess with the continuity and it may be a bit confusing. Plus, my OCD will just hate him with the passion. Like, it needs to be all like in eight different episodes. She's sad. She's one guy. Chill. That was too These guys are still vibing. Badly hurt. You're badly hurt. Yeah, he's still going to fight them. Okay, last one. Gordon Bard is saved. <laughs> We've won, but at what cost? <laughs> Uh, Lord of Rings of Wonder is like 10 years ahead of uh, everyone else in terms of humour. Is Belaram dead? Belaram. No, but he looks to be Tell me he's properly gone. like. Uh, oh, looks like uh, Nordry no, came out to is, actually fight. But he is sorely hurt. Can he be saved? I believe so, but his wounds are severe. He will need time and constant care if he is to recover. He'll have that. The best that we can give. I promise you. 
I'll take charge here. Go to my father and tell him what's happened. He'll send Borg to help with Bellarod. Goran yet lives? That's some good news. Yeah, okay, we don't need to listen. Oh, we have to listen to them talk. Oh, well, that was it. Alright, I like it how the orcs are still, like, raging. We can't even go see them, unfortunately. Like, run away. Which is kind of sad, but, uh, yeah. Well, that, that was, uh, that was that, I guess, um... <laughs> it's only 50 minutes. We'll, uh, we'll continue. Continue on, get, um, like, see what happens, and then prepare for the, uh... The last episode, which will be attacking Khan Khan Dune. And hopefully try to kill Agendawa without dying, because I don't think I've actually died yet. Not once. I've been close. I don't think I've died, though. Once again, we of Nordenbad are in your debt. Without your aid, we would not have held them. The enemy is defeated, but at very... Our friend Bella... I have already... But what of... Yes. Yeah, we, we don't need to listen, to though, yeah. Yes. Such a Dragon's sort of on our side. He's doing a Franco. Parting with them. Um, and yeah, we, we we need to go take a fortress for him. That's literally all that you know. We told him what happened. So we're gonna uh, browse for this. I'll give this to Farin actually, because that's a pretty uh, a pretty pog weapon. Give that to Farin too. Give that to you too. No, I won't need that. And I don't know. You can have the big club. A right, choice of reward. Okay. Well, I'm not going to use the shield. The armor. Wait, right, actually. So my gloves are at 71, what else would he give me? Shoulder pads? 65, once, oh, 176, 71 and 65. Oh, it's a helmet. Helmet's 150. Yeah, I, I mean, they're all pretty decent. Um, I mean, I, I should go for the thing that's going to give me the biggest boost in armor, which would probably be this. Then saying that, plus 25 damage. Now, I think this will this will last me longer. It's also worth the most, so I'll go for the, uh, the captain's armor. Ah, gorgeous. Uh, yeah. It's probably the best uh, long-term investment. Uh, shop first. Are you here to buy? Plus 10, 20 damage on it too. I'll keep these because I'll have 26 stamina soon. Don't need you or you. It's two handed so I don't need that. Oh, I had two things against trolls, which I could have used, but it will. Didn't really need it, to be fair. The trolls are pretty easy to uh, take care of. I'll keep those, because I'll have enough for them soon. Oh, I need to buy stuff. I don't think there'll be anything that I can buy here, apart from a bow. Five seven four and six nine five. Yeah, this one. So I apologise if I'm a bit snuffly. I've uh, got interesting hay fever this morning for some reason. I could buy a sword, but then again, actually saying that, one six seven to two three four. Those are both the same. Okay, he's got a maximum of. 234. What does this have a maximum of? Hmm. Yeah, even even still, it's uh, it's lower. 
Makes us only plus 31. That is actually worth keeping. So I will get rid... I'll keep this actually. I'll keep the one-handed... Do I actually need to keep it though? Realistically? Okay, I'll buy one of them. See, that's also better, but then again, that's just got more stuff. So I'll probably keep this, because obviously the fire, the shock damage, is a lot more. But yeah, highest of 234, so that's... It's actually close. There's only like one difference, but that has plus 6% regen, so I can keep it. And that has good durability. Plus I've got a bunch of other weapons. That's I am. You know, won't use. Oh, I can put the gloves on now. Oh, sorry, so that's actually a little bonus. I can get better armor now. Right, if... Let's organize this actually, like, properly. Okay, so now we don't need... We'll keep those two. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. And they're backups. Okay. Let's go and repair some stuff. I'm going to head off to Rivendell too, just because they might... Um... We owe you and your friends our lives, and I won't forget it. By my beard, Agandaur must... Yeah, okay, we're going to go teach Agandaur a lesson at some point. But not right now, we're busy. Oh, a thousand? Nice. Sorry, I got plenty of money. Like, this is the point where you just get so much money you don't actually know what to do with it. So I'm gonna go check on Bellaram quickly. Okay, can I not get stuck? Oh, no, I'm not gonna talk to the random dwarf. Man, you do not look okay, sir. Like, go and go to a doctor. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, uh... You're dead. Yeah, he was your friend, we know, like... Kind of, uh, kind of sad, really. Bellarum, can you hear me, my friend? Aradan, I am within walls of stone, and hear no sounds of battle. The Nordenbad was saved. I, the enemy, had enough, and has fled away. How long have I been here like this? But a short while. Do not attempt to rise. You must save your strength. Where are Berenthor and Armanel? But how do we want to go about breaking the news to um, Belithor that is um, these two other guys? Let's just let's be nice. Don't concern yourself with such things now. I could just say You're dead and like have done with it, but um... such words only increase my unease. Tell me. Oh, right, okay. Well. Alright, well, let's come on, stop talking. Let's actually go off and do some stuff. You must. No, I would be there at the end. Your courage is. Yes, yes. We know, Bellaram's a child and he wants to go and try and kill Lagandau with us, even though he's like pretty much crippled. Right, uh, let's go to Rivendell first. And we'll try and go through this quickly, and then we'll move on to Khan Dune, which will be in the next episode. I could do it at the end of this one, but like I said, it'll, uh, it'll be annoying not being able to say specifically which chapter is which. So I guess a, a short video for once couldn't, uh, couldn't hurt. I suppose you can also tell um, Bilbo what happened. Hello. Welcome back. You've had a... and now I hear you plan to... Oh right, so we don't actually get to tell him what we're going to do, fair enough. I guess he doesn't want to know. Anything of use here, probably doubt it. As we sort of peaked with all the Dwarven stuff. No, it's two-handed. Yeah, 
everything is uh, is peaked. So we're gonna head off to Kandu in the next episode. Um, this was obviously a pretty short one. What do I think of this mission over there? What do I think of this mission? I like it a lot. Um, I don't know why. It's just a, a very nice, very fun mission. You know, just chilling and uh, killing a bunch of people. And it's a short one, so that makes a change. Uh, I'd probably say like a, an 8 out of 10 for the defense of Lord and Bad. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the final chapter of the first playthrough of Lord of the Rings War in the North in the next episode where we head off to Khandun to hopefully try and kill Eigendauer. So I'll see you then.